All right, guys, how are we all doing? I'm Fiesta here, and today we have some good amount of news, plenty of news, and I have been doing any recording in two days, so we will have a lot of news. Firstly, we have Team Force coming with their 32 gigs, basically 2 into 16 gigs of PC uh, DDR5 7200 uh, memories right here, and if, right now, if you look into the cost here. It will cost you $349.99 USD. This is in the new egg listing and also it's out of stock. I'm surprised people are buying this, but yeah. Team Force has brought their newest uh, Delta RGB 32 gigs, which is 2 into 16 gigs of PCIe, or not PCIe, uh, DDR5 7200 memory. So yeah, that's the fastest, not the fastest, but pretty much their top tier memory coming from Team Force or Team T Force, whatever you want to call it. Next up, we have also some memory news. And now, G Skill is announcing the DDR5 6800 CL32 and 6400 CL32 Me Trident Z5 memory. And if you look into it right there, it's basically the same design of the DDR4 uh, you know, memories. Now, they're bringing in the same, similar kind of design, maybe a little bit of RGB here. Or I don't know if they had this design, but I, I'm pretty sure they had a design like this. But I don't think that was uh, RGB. Yeah, anyway. So if you look into it right here, this shows this is the memory clock of 3400. And if you look into the memories here, the DRAM frequency at 3400, right there, do you have 5, 32 gigs of memories. And yeah, basically, that's the 6400, I believe. And the next one is the... 6800 which is again did you for this time it has 64 gigabytes so a lot of memory right there so yeah basically they're bringing in the memories did your 5 6800 and the did your 5 6400 two options i'm not sure if the pricing is listed or anything i don't think so let's look into it no i don't really see any pricing listed so Hopefully soon enough they're gonna be releasing these uh, memories and we'll get to use them. I hope the pricing will be not that crazy like $3,000 or $300 or something. I hope it's gonna be lower than that because you know DDR5 has been very expensive later on. Or not just later on, it has been expensive from the launch. Next up we have Seasonic announcing their ATX 3.0 and PCIe Zen 5, basically Vertex ATX. Uh, power supplies which is RTX 440 ready or 4000 series ready basically so this is it very small I have to say this is a very small uh, farm factor 80 plus platinum and 80 plus gold these are the two variants coming with and uh, we also have the pricing here so if you look into it vertex PX 1200 watts is gonna cost you around 259.99 kind of not that expensive it, to be honest with you like it's not that expensive because it's, you know, it's PCIe 5. You could say it's very expensive, considering this is uh, 1200 watts. But still, if it's platinum rated, not really that expensive. Even though, I'm pretty sure not many of the people will be interested. Rather, you might be interested in the Vertex 750, which is 169.99. Still, I believe that pricing is kind of expensive. Because I know this is premium. So, makes sense. This, I believe, 750 watts should cost a little bit less. You know what I mean? Like, maybe $120, you know? Like, that would be a better suited area. And this, I guess, should be 150 But then again, this 189.99. 1000 watts coming at 299.99. 219.99. And if you look at the uh, gold efficiency, 1200 watts goes down a little bit, 229.99. Vertex uh, 1000 goes 199.99, and here, right here, 750 watts gold edition, which I guess again it should be hundred dollars, but then again, it's C Sonic, so can't really complain, can you? They they make some good stuff, and these uh, available, uh, not available, but these uh, processors, uh, power supplies. What am I talking? Uh, will be available in the mid -Dece mid December 2022. So yeah, just when the processors and the motherboards uh, power uh, gpus guys release you know that's when you will get this in the mid-december so yeah perfect timing i believe 
Next up we have AMD Ryzen 7950X getting an overclock of 6.7 GHz and which also scoring 50,000 that's right 50,000 in Cinebench R23 and if you look into it this is coming from uh, the source is HWBot reported by video cards here and that's the Cinebench R23 score and here we have 48k but it's also running at I believe 6.4 that's what I think. I can't really see it clearly here because, you know, the picture is not zoomed in. I just realized I, didn't, I don't have to look into the picture here. Right here, it's written 6.4 gigahertz. I'm dumb. Anyway, and the next one we have the 6.7 gigahertz, which is heading right here, as you can see, 50,000 points. So 50,395 more specifically saying, but again, it doesn't matter. So yeah, that they're, they're hitting 6.5 or 6.7 all core, I believe. And that's crazy, like 50,000. That's a lot of scores. Next up, we have HXL coming at, coming in with some information, or I should say a render of the leaked Intel i9 or i5, whatever you want to call it, the packaging, basically. This is a source coming from WeChat. I realized that I haven't seen WeChat in a long time. Anyway. So i9 third generation Raptor Lake packaging has been leaked by HXL right here. And if you look into it right here, yeah, kind of basic, literally this similar than uh, compared to the previous ones. But if you look into the comparison here, look at this. This is the gold and silver version right here, as you can see. So there will be two types, one gold and one silver. So interesting enough, this is going to be a silver one. This is going to be the gold one. So twice. Do you have to pay premium for this packaging too? I don't know. Hopefully not, right? Next up we have Tom Apisak coming in with some, again, i9 3900K Passmark CPU Mark score here. And that is a single thread performance. And if you look into it, it's getting 4,833 compared to i9 12900KS, which was 4,412, making i9 3900K the fastest uh processor to have the single thread performance in the pass mark cpu mark score so yeah basically this is going to be the fastest cpu in this basic uh, synthetic benchmark so yeah that kind of hints you that i9 is going to be very good at gaming that's for sure because you know it's single thread performance and next up we have amd ryzen 7950x scoring 7 gigahertz that's right more specifically 7.2 gigahertz Coming from, uh, again, Tom Apisak, and he is validating this uh, CPU-Z information here, and look at that, core speed, 7.2 gigahertz, that's that's crazy amount of speed. And again, again this is going to be single core, because I believe not all core, it's not really possible, and also it's uh, doing LN2 cool cooling, so, yeah, and if you look into some WCC Aptek score here, right there, the WCC Aptek reported this the same thing which confirms that it's going to be 7.2 gigahertz so that's a lot of amount of you know like cover clock 7 gigahertz holy that's like can you even imagine that like we all knew that uh you know ryzen 9 or ryzen 5 whatever you call it amd never had the upper hand in the speed like the, this kind of overclocking but now we're seeing literally 7.2 gigahertz on one core as i said before and 6.5 gigahertz all core 6.5 all core using the ln2 of course liquid nitrogen cooling so that's massive it's gonna break a lot of world records that's for sure so yeah and also sucking 170 watts which is which, which was the rated voltage from amd or watts, I should say. The voltage is 1.465, more specifically saying. So, yeah. It's going to be real fast. I don't know. I don't really know which one is going to be the winner in terms of gaming. Like, will it going to be Ryzen 9 7950X or will it going to be Intel i9 3900K? Can't really say at this point because both of them are looking very good. Even though I can one tell one thing that AMD one will be very chiller. You know, cool. Because it's sucking 170 watts compared to 350 watts that is Intel sucking. So, yeah. Alright, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, of course, don't forget to like, comment, share. And, yeah, 
subscribe. That's more important here. <laughs> and what do you think? Like, do you think who's gonna be the winner? AMD or Intel? Let me know.